and him or millions and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him or a hundred million and the judgment was set and the books were open and I beheld because of the voice of the great words which the horn spoke I beheld even till the beast was slain his body destroyed and given to the burning flame uh, we'll get to that further on in Revelation. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. And then I saw and behold, one like the Son of Man, Jesus, came with the clouds of heaven, and he came to the ancient, and he was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which will not pass away. His kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit for the visions in my head troubled me. And I came near to one of them that stood by and asked them the truth of all of this. So he told me and he made me to know the interpretation of these things. The great beast, which are four, are the four kings which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Then I would know the truth of this fourth beast, the Roman Empire, which was diverse from all others, exceeding and dreadful, whose teeth were of iron, his nails of brass, which devoured and broke in pieces and stomped the residue of, with his feet. And the ten horns that were in his head spoke great words against the Most High and wore out the saints of the Most High and thought to change the times and the laws and they shall be given into his hand until the time's time and a dividing of a time that is the three and a half years of the great tribulation but the judgment shall, uh, but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my thoughts greatly troubled me. My countenance was changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Future laid out for Daniel unto the kingdom age when Christ shall come and his church and we will live and reign with him over the earth for that millennial reign of Christ the thousand years. Now his tail, the great dragon, drew a third of part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered to, to devour her child as soon as it was born. Uh, you remember that when uh, Christ was born, that uh, the wise men had come from the east, inquired from, of Herod where the king was to be born, and Herod inquired of the uh, Jewish uh, religious men, and they said, Bethlehem. Uh, and so he directed uh, Herod, I mean, directed the wise men toward Bethlehem, there they found the young child, Jesus, and uh, they worshiped and gave their gifts to him. And then they were warned by the Lord not to return. And as Herod had said, find the child, and when you find him, come and let me know that I might worship him, really intending to kill the child, to try and uh, keep uh, the child from growing up because he had been prophesied to be the king. And Herod, of course, was very jealous about any threat to his reign as king, had his sons murdered and so forth, uh, because he thought that they were trying to take the throne from him. So uh, here was that attempt as soon as the child was born. Herod made a decree that all of the children in Bethlehem, two years old and under, should be slain. Uh, his endeavor to destroy the, devour the child as soon as it was born. Uh, as we said, there were other attempts uh, to keep uh, the promises of God from being fulfilled. Uh, you remember uh, at the time of Esther, 
how that uh, uh, Haman had uh, conjured the king to make a decree uh, that uh, if anyone should worship any other god uh, or pray to any other god, you know, that they should uh, uh, be uh, slain. And then uh, when uh, I'm getting my story with Daniel mixed up. Uh, <laughs> but with Esther, uh, Mordecai would not bow to Haman and it made him so angry that he went to the king and paid the king to make a decree that on a certain day all of the Jews within all of the province should be slain. It was Satan's endeavor to destroy the nation because knowing that from the nation the Messiah was to come and how that uh, the Lord uh, intervened and the nation was spared through the intercession of Esther. So now uh, Satan's desire to destroy the nation, desire to destroy Christ when he came. Remember, he took him up to the temple and uh, to the pinnacle and said, jump. Uh, you have the promise he'll give his angels charge over thee. Trying to destroy him from the beginning. Uh, but uh, uh, Christ went ahead, paid the price to redeem the world by giving his own life and redeemed us by his blood. We'll get to that in a little bit. So she brought forth a man child, Jesus, Israel, bringing the Savior into the world, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared of God, that she should uh, that he should feed her there a thousand two hundred and sixty days. The child is to rule all nations. Psalm 2 7. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for your inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and you will dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. I'll give you the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David to order it and to establish it in righteousness and in justice from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this, will rule all nations. Uh, Revelation 2.26, he that overcomes, Jesus said, and keeps my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. Revelation 19, 15. And out of his mouth went a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as he treads the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God. Isaiah 63, 1. Who is this that comes from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? This one that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. The answer, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. The question, why is your apparel red and your garments look like one who has been treading the grapes? I have, the answer, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment 
for the day of vengeance is in my heart.